in addition to having a beautiful singing voice, uh, Marite is also the president of the Knights of Lithuanian Council, and I'd like to invite her up to make some remarks today. Thank you, Mayor Carpenter, honored guests, and fellow Brocktonians. Jame Lietovos Ajolai Jaluas. In the soil of Lithuania, mighty oaks will grow. This tree is very symbolic of the history of Lithuania, which I would like to share briefly with you now. The Roman historian Tacitus made reference to these Baltic people in the first century AD. In 1236, Mindaugas united these people into one nation, Lithuania, and was crowned king in 1256 by Pope Innocent IV. The oak tree was planted. The Grand Duchy of Lithuania thrived for centuries, and the borders of Lithuania at one time stretched from the Baltic Sea north all the way to the Black Sea. The oak tree grew stronger. The joint Commonwealth of Lithuania and Poland solidified the Catholic faith in Northern Europe and allowed them the strength to fight off the Teutonic invaders. And this great oak flourished. However, they could not fight off the power of Tsarist Russia, and Lithuania and the Baltic people were absorbed into Russia in 1795. This oak was cut down but the acorns were scattered throughout the land. A country is identified by its borders, language, and culture. Russia tried to annihilate these borders, but the people knew where they were. They forbid the speaking and writing of the Lithuanian language, but the villagers still spoke it in their homes, taught the children to read with books printed in Prussia, it smuggled into the country under the cover of darkness. They kept the history alive through songs, dances, and traditions in secret, secretly handed down through the generations. And those Lithuanians who managed to escape to the United States brought this love and devotion with them to their new country. Lithuanian oaks were planted in the coal mines of Pennsylvania and here in the factories of Brockton. At the end of World War I and the collapse of the Russian monarchy, the people of Lithuania formed a Seimas, a parliament. And on February 16, 1918, 100 years ago, declared themselves an independent republic. What a bold move for a nation whose language was suppressed, and yet, the declaration proudly written in a dead language, Lithuanian, and that language is still spoken today. Those acorns grow into many mighty oaks. Unfortunately, the two decades of independence were cut short by World War II, and Lithuania once again found itself under Russian domination, only this time under communism. No matter, the desire for independence was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. In the late 1980s, a period of glasnost and perestroika was declared by Gorbachev, and a little more freedom was allowed. The brilliant, patriot, the brilliant patriots of the Lithuanian Communist Party asked and received permission from Moscow to be an independent Communist Party, not necessarily tied to Moscow. The permission was granted, and the Lithuanian Communist Party declared themselves independent from the Soviet Communist Party in Moscow. Then, on March 11, 1990, declared the country of Lithuania independent from the Soviet Union and Vytautas Landsbergis was chosen the first president of the restored republic. What a masterful move. The heir of the Lithuanian Republic was restored, but not without bloodshed. When the eyes of the world were focused on the beginning of the Gulf War, the furious Soviets sent tanks to Vilnius to, sur to surround the radio and television tower in order to quash this independence. 
When news went out, the residents of Vilnius formed a human chain around the tower, linking arms and singing, Jame Lietovos, Ajolai Jaluas. In the soil of Lithuania, mighty oaks will grow. The people thought the tanks would be restrained by the human shield, but the order to shoot to kill was given, and 13 people perished there. The radio station in Kaunas sent messages out to the free world telling them what happened. Our Brockton native, Lucia Pashkauskas, was brave enough to stay at the Kaunas radio station reporting on the invasion to the free world. However, help from the outside was a slow to arrive. No matter. The desire for freedom was greater than any adversary and the Republic of Lithuania battled on. Today, Lithuania is respected on the world stage as a member of NATO a member of the European Union, and will be one of the few sites worldwide of a cyber security center in the coming years. Today, as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Republic of Lithuania with our flag raising ceremony in Brockton, we can reflect on the contributions of the Lithuanians here in our wonderful city. Brockton can boast as Council One of the Knights of Lithuania an organization that celebrates 105 years this summer was established here. The Lithuanian village was the center of the community for a century with beautiful St. Casma Church, the spiritual and in many ways the cultural center for 110 years. Here in the village, we had Lithuanian bakeries, Kilkas, with a brick oven, baked black bread on Arthur Street, and Bellevue Avenue Bakery with the delicious Tuesday bagels. Samolis Market, where you can buy most staples. Zinki's Market, where you purchase the tastiest fresh kielbasa and pickles from the barrel. Mrs. Cassetta's Dress Shop, and very importantly, Mishkinis Drugstore. Very important, not just for prescriptions, but it was the only place to purchase grain alcohol that the ladies needed so they could make their homemade krupnikas, a honey spice liqueur, and other herbal medicines. <laughs> <laughs> the Sandara Club offered one of the few places outside of the North End in Boston where you could get a delicious pizza or a homemade burger smothered in onions, which would melt in your mouth. It's heartwarming to know that generations of families still live here. Our grandparents gave us a love of our Lithuanian traditions and heritage, but taught to love this wonderful country even more. In Tukas Playground, there stands a memorial honoring those Lithuanians of Brockton who died in service to their country. The motto that grew out of independence was planted in the hearts of Lithuanians long ago. Wherever they live, you can be assured of flowers in the garden, a warm welcome when you visit, and a song at the ready. And so now I will sing for you that song. <laughs> this year-long celebration of the 100th anniversary of the, of the Republic of Lithuania. And the Knights of Lithuania Council One will be having tremendous celebrations in August, the weekend of August 3rd to the 5th. So please stay tuned and please join us. Thank you very much.
that was awesome. 